Hi everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. Somebody wanted to have an update on Santa Cruz Silver, so let's talk about Santa Cruz Silver. The chart has not done well, um, it's down 50% from here, and I think it's going lower. Uh, why is that? You know, Santa Cruz Silver is not only silver, and even if it's only silver, the silver chart doesn't look that well. It's in a downtrend, uh, could go lower. But most importantly, Santa Cruz Silver is also zinc. And zinc is not doing well. When we look at zinc, uh, it had a, a bit of a bounce here, but this this doesn't look very strong it could roll over and go even lower so yeah then that's that's a problem for santa cruz silver because they do have a lot of zinc uh, in the portfolio as you can see here 60 percent production is zinc um equivalent for silver and only 30% is silver. So even if silver goes up, you need zinc to go up as well. And I don't see that going up. Now let's dive deeper into the financials. Um, as you can see on this chart, uh, we are deep in the negative. So this company cannot make any money. Um, I calculate this by adding all the revenue up. So this is price times production. And that's that's the the actual production here, the actual production numbers that we get. So that's the revenue. And we do minus all in sustaining cost, which is 26 now, times the silver equivalent production. And then I do 80% because they don't own everything. Yeah, this is just an estimate. Um, and then I just delete some more um, for the cash flow. We delete capex, which is 20 million per year, and interest payments around 5 million. And then we yeah, we also have the payability because it's concentrate. And then we add a multiple of five. I even didn't add in the taxes yet because but they, they are loss making, so it doesn't make any difference. But as you can see here, it's negative. And this all started somewhere in May last year when the costs this is the cost went higher than the silver price. So somewhere here, everything went bad. Costs are now higher than the silver price. So this company is going bankrupt. As simple as that. Also, there's, there's this thing that you need to take into account. Um, all in sustaining cost, 26. This is bad. Maybe it can improve a bit. They didn't sell everything, so maybe it can go to 22, 23. But anyway, that's that's still not enough to make money. Um, looking a bit deeper. Yeah, they say that production is up, but it's it's really not good enough. There's no margin. Tonnage is the same, so there's not a lot of difference here great seems to be well this is only until last year i haven't updated it um but yeah let, let's let's look at the grade so this is q4 this is q3 and the grades can be found here look what is happening Let's look at silver first. Same, down, yeah, same 
but in here it's down and same. So silver is actually pretty okay. But then the zinc, zinc is the biggest part of this company. And you can see here that 7.4 went to 6.8. That's down a lot. Porco also down a lot, 6.4 to 6. Caballo Blanco, about the same. Then we have San Lucas, which is the only one that went up. But take into account, San Lucas is the ore trading business. That's, that's not the mine. So this is actually a, a small part of the company. This is just the ore trading business. So don't take this into account. This is meaningless. And then we have Zimapan, which is a real mine, and that's also down. So all the grades of zinc are down. That tells me that the costs are going to go up. Because if you produce less zinc with a higher cost, yes, then, then, then the only sustaining cost is going to go up. So this is not good. That's the second thing that's bad. And then we have this here, that's the that, that's even worse because there are payments due in March 18th, 2024. That's in about a few weeks. Then they need to pay 22 million. How are they going to pay this if they don't have any cash? Um, trade receivables. Okay, but look at all of these payments that they need to make. Trade payables, um, consideration payable, yeah, that's that's one of these here. Uh, some loans that need to be paid, taxes, some liabilities, and it's it's bigger than the current assets. So they don't have any positive working capital. That's bad and still a lot of debt that needs to be paid. So you would think this company has a market cap of only 50 million, that it's cheap, but if you take into account the liabilities, 370 million minus the current assets, then you have a lot of debt, 200 million debt and then you get an enterprise value that's much higher. So this is the enterprise value, very high enterprise value with a lot of debt and the silver price is only 23, so loss making. So actually this company could drop further and yeah, it's basically just bankrupt. So that's actually the update. Um, cannot make any money. Um, debt payments are due in a month, actually a few weeks. Uh, costs keep on rising. Grades going down on the mines, eh? on the mines, not on the trade business, but on the mines, which is even worse. And I, I don't think that there's any hope for this company because silver is not doing anything. Zinc, I mean, we all know that steel is not in demand anymore in China. So zinc is probably also not going to be in demand. Uh, so why are you buying Santa Cruz zinc? That's the worst thing to do. And silver is also not doing anything. Actually, silver, which is a byproduct of base metals, has been flat for 10 years. So are you really thinking that silver is going to 30 or 40? Uh, I don't think so. Um, so the most likely path of Santa Cruz silver is zero. So keep that in mind. Why? Would you invest in this company? Other than uh, 
speculating that silver is going to go to 30, 32, yeah, then there is a bit of hope. You also need zinc to go up together with silver. If silver goes up and zinc doesn't go up, then this chart is not working. So a lot of risk of bankruptcy with not a lot of hope in the commodity price. So yeah, that was the update. Uh, I would just sell it and buy something else. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.